Isn't that telling you aliens came to Earth in their gigantic flying saucers and they were going to haul humanity back to their home world for food? Right? Well, they're back and they landed on Soldier Field. Because they just saw a glass and steel modern bowl that they plopped down on top of the classical colonnades. It's known affectionately in architectural circles as the UFO. Makes our uh, library edition look positive to taste for it. It's another great shot. This is actually a National Historical Landmark. It's the highest designation of landmark given by the federal government in terms of historic properties. And after this edition, this botched edition, they stripped. I think it's a lot more fun when people are critical of other people's design. Here's a, um, it always interests me. Sarah likes it too. She's taller. Did she? She's very critical. So she has. No canopies. I don't like how the three is not symmetrical to the line of. Did you see that? 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 Does anybody know what this is? No. It's a fire station. This is actually a library branch. <laughs> yes, it's a library branch. Not to tell from looking at it. Um, it does look like a pendant. Sure, maybe something like that. This really looks like a little Have anybody seen the um, Santiago Calatrava Chicago Spire proposal? Yes, I do. It's twisting, kind of like 2,000 foot uh, skyscraper on the Lake Fire Chicago. You didn't design that, did you? Like Helios. That's not your design, right? We're out of our money. Just making sure. It's literally a smoking hole in the ground. Anybody recognize this gent? No. That's Mies van der Rohe, very famous architect, very dapper gentleman. Lived in Chicago a long time, uh, taught there, did a lot of buildings. Very famous guy. I gotta confess something though, and I hope this won't sound too prejudiced. I can't tell him his buildings apart. Also, they all feel like me. I mean, you tell them you need his buildings apart. Building. I mean, they, they all look alike. What are these things in Chicago? Right? They look like giant, big VCR players. I, yeah. I like that he's up there with a beer, too. Agreed. Yeah. What do you think they would say in Chicago, Chicago. if we had spent $23 million to put a shiny metal beam in the White River State Park? Did Chicago get it because it was Think how many children that could have closed. Think about it. Dude, that totally is a monument. It kind of On the left, we have a street light in Chicago. On the right, we have a street light in Carmel.
presentation of nothing but the blank facades of Chicago on little white panels like this. I mean, you might have thought we were the only ones stupid enough to do stuff like this, but uh, no, we go over Chicago all the time, constantly. It's one of my favorites. Actually, this is one of my favorite buildings of all time. This is a limited thing in a Marshalls. And unless you think I went off into some oddball neighborhood to find this, actually, it's right in the heart of Boys Town Ripleyville area. So it's one of the big happening areas in town. How they get this? You're not cool enough to Yeah, strip malls? Actually, you see, they got lots of strip malls in Chicago. But what kills me is, it's not just they have strip malls, they're not even very good strip malls. I mean, Craig McCormick here designed way better strip malls in Noblesville, Indiana than he made fun of here a year ago. I think he did. This is the Chicago Strip Malls. Strip Malls was the last time. <laughs> Where they whack a historic <laughs> building, put yeah, a new building in I remember seeing it. So you can see yeah. we have four stories okay. of a historic yeah, building here. Funny. And then we have a blue green modern skyscraper <laughs> sprouting out of it. I was like, where did that come from? One more blank facade. This is uh, on Chicago Avenue in the Gold Coast. It was kind of odd because right behind this is the most elite gallery district in the entire city. And this is a brand new building. I have no idea how they got this approved or what they were thinking. <laughs> Obviously, they weren't thinking. But uh, anyhow, just a sampling of the bad stuff they got in Chicago. There's lots of it there. Go check it out for yourself. Yeah.